Good morning here. Hey, this is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin here. Welcome to another Sunday Mindset Message here. Okay, currently I am in New York City. Okay, and I'm calling you here from, uh, what do they call it? The Sunshine State, I'm not sure. Right, home of the I, um, Statue of Liberty here. And I, I didn't forget about you. I wanted to go live real quickly here to help prepare you for the week. How's everybody doing here this morning? How you feeling? Feeling good? You feeling empowered? How many of you feel motivated? You know, I'm out here in New York for an event. And some of my team is out here as well. And last night we had an outstanding time. And, you know, I'm just so proud of my team. You know, I love to see... Um, the people that work for me, like my family, they're like my family here. And I love to see them enjoy themselves. You know, last night we went out and just watched them enjoy themselves, celebrate. It's because they have been just working so diligently, so hard. And the results are definitely shown proved uh, based off their work ethic here. And I just, I'm so proud of them. I'm so grateful for them as they continue to rise and make progression in every area of their life here. But this morning here, I wanted to talk about, and I want everybody to comment this below. If you can hear my voice, let me know if you can hear my voice. Give me a thumbs up. Don't let the past define your future. Okay. That's a topic for Sunday. And if you're brand new to the Sunday mindset message here, I go live every Sunday, um, especially if I'm stateside here. I'm in New York City, but I do this just to not just encourage you, but I want to educate you, right? I want you to have tools that you can utilize and begin to apply to your life during your week, right? Everybody here, we're here for a reason. You know, you're on this podcast, you're on this rant for a reason. You know, some of you want to be wealthy. Some of you want to make progress with your health. Some of you want to make progress in your relationships. Some of you want to make progress just in your life, so you want to feel happier. You want to learn how to navigate the human experience here in a way that you get more of what you want, right? Not more of what you don't want here. So I'm here to be an advocate for you. Um, I'm here to be your biggest fan. You hear me? I'm the guy on the sidelines with the, what do you call those things that cheerleaders have here? You know, I am celebrating your success, especially on Sundays, because I want you, listen, I want you to have the expectation that the next seven days of your life is going to be pure goal. Can I get an amen, please? Let me say that one more time. You didn't hear. Listen, I want the next seven days of your life financially, uh, with your physical fitness, your health, with your relationships, even just how you feel about yourself. I want that to be pure goal. I want you to feel good about that. I want you to expect that everything that you want to make progress with will. Does that make sense here? So I'm celebrating your success right now. And I want everybody here to receive that. I truly believe that everything in life happens for a reason. It's the reason why you're here. It's the reason why you listen to me. It's the reason why you decided to allow me to be your virtual millionaire mentor here. So allow me to do that, you know? Put your ego to the side. You know, whatever hate, whatever emotions are, Whatever disappointments that you're dealing with, for a second, suspend those beliefs and just allow me to pour into you. You know, I'm just a normal, average black man from Houston, Texas, but I became wealthy. And not just that, I have navigated my own personal life to what I call a perfect life. Yeah, I said it. I have a perfect life here. It doesn't mean that I don't get frustrated. It doesn't mean I don't get pissed off or upset or angry, but I've learned how to control and manage my emotions. I've learned how to control and manage my own personal thoughts. And I've learned, write this down below, please. I've learned not to let the past define my future. Okay. So please comment that down again below. And, you know, the reason why I believe this topic is so important because how many of you last week had a challenging week? Be honest. You know, how many of you last week had some things that didn't go so well or maybe with your business is not thriving the way that you wanted to thrive? Your relationships are suffering. 
Maybe your personal health is suffering. Maybe the relationship that you have with your children, your parents, your lover, you know, whatever, you know, just having some challenges, you know, things are happening in your life and you just don't know what to do. Comment below if that's you. <laughs> and just give me an amen. All right. And what we tend to do as people, we tend to use the past as a barometer or the blueprint for our future. And we do this unconsciously. You know, if we had a bad week last night, last week, we we figured that we're going to have a bad week this week. If we had a bad year, we hope that, well, I hope this is a better year. If we had a terrible month, you know, a down month, a depressed month, an emotional month, a stressful month, a stressful week. We tend to believe that we're going to have the same week. What I want you to understand is this. Please listen to me closely here. You are a creator. Okay? You are a creator. And we wouldn't talk. You know, I, I remember growing up as a kid. You know, my father's a pastor of a church and my mother is a, mi a missionary. And they've been doing that for about 30 plus years. And they never told me that I was a creator. Like imagine if your parents or whoever raised you told you at the age of five or six that you are a creator. That you can use the faculties of your mind to be able to imagine, to think, and be able to create thoughts in your mind and make them real. That you no longer had to use what happened yesterday and thinking that the pain and the suffering of yesterday has to pervade over in your future. Imagine, watch this. I want you to imagine if all the pain that you're dealing with, that you're thinking about, that you're choosing to think about, what if it's wiped away? What if all those negative thoughts, all those painful moments, the people that hurt you, the people that stole from you, the business that failed, the relationships that failed. What if you just wiped that away right now? What if you chose to reframe that stuff and realize for you to continue to think about that and ponder on that, it's only putting you personally in emotional distress. Imagine when you were growing up, your mom and your father said you are a creator, that everything that you want, if you picture it in the mind that you can have it, any thought that you hold, regardless if that thought is negative or positive, if you continue to think about that thought and you start to feel and imbue feelings and emotions in that thought, that thought can be transcended in the physical world and it will be real in your life. What I want you to realize, I want all of you, and I don't know all of you, I know some of you, I want all of you to consider to erase the past. You know, some people say, well, I forgive you, but I can't forget. Well, what's the point of forgiving if you don't forget about it? What's the point of moving forward if you continue to harp on the pain and the struggles of your poverty or things that, you know, you're suffering and things not going right and you have all these issues and challenges and suffering and debilitations and what is the point of moving on if you continue to think about the pains of the past. What I want you to understand, young people, that is a huge hindrance to your future. It's a hindrance to your destiny. You know, many of you, I mean, all of us, we would like our lives to be great. We want our lives to be perfect. We want to feel good about our lives. We want to feel good about our, our progress. We want to feel good about our relationships, feel good about our business, feel good about our health, feel good just about us, our self-esteem, our confidence. But what I want you to understand is you have to take a moment in your life. It doesn't matter if you're 20 years old, 30, 40, 50, or 60 years old. That you have to consider that the past is no longer necessary in creating your future. I want everybody to comment these words below. Today, I let go of the past. 
do it. And I get it. You know, I know some of you have been hurt. I, I get it. I mean, some of you <clears throat> are extremely hurt. Some of you, you've been hurt so much you're afraid to move forward. You ever started a business and you lost so much money in the business and it failed and you were very afraid to start a new business? Have you ever got in a relationship <clears throat> and the relationship was so toxic, so bad, that now you don't want to go and venture out and start a new relationship? Right? We've all been there. But what I want you to understand, the beginning of progress in this area of your life is to state it. To say, I now, today, let go of my past. Okay? And I want you to do that deeply. I want you to be honest with yourself. And I want you to think about it. Because as you're thinking about the past, I know some of you may be in tears. You may say, no, man, I can't. I just can't let it go. It hurt too bad. You know, Wesley, I'm 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 struggling right now. I don't know what to do with my life. You know, I'm a single mom and is anybody gonna marry me? And I wanna make more money. I wanna take care of my daughter. I wanna take care of my son. <laughs> you may be a grown man with bad credit. You have a job that you can't stand and sucking the life out of you. And you wanna be a better father, you wanna be a better husband to your to your children, to your wife. Are you a single man? You just want things to work out. You want to exemplify. You want to be an example. You want to make people proud. Maybe make your mother or your father proud that you're doing well. You don't want to be a hindrance. You don't want to be that son or that daughter that your parents talk about as if, like, why can't they get it together? I don't know what's going on with this person. Why can't they just get their life together? I get it. But I want you to understand the first step. And I took this step you know, like a decade ago. I said, today I let go of my past. I let go of all the suffering. And you know what I realized about suffering? We create our own suffering. Okay? We do it. You know, whenever a person is thinking about something that hurts them so bad, and they begin to stack more reasons on why this pain is so valid. What I want you to understand is that you're choosing to suffer. You're choosing to be on, to be in pain. You're choosing to feel dislike about your situation and just about your individual life. That you're choosing to do this. <laughs> Listen, pain is like weeds. Weeds are going to grow. When you plant a seed, plant a garden, no one goes out and plant weeds, plant flowers, but the weeds are going to grow. And that's like pain, it happens. However, suffering is a choice. Like suffering itself, it's a choice to choose to exacerbate your pain and to feel how bad it was and why did this happen and why did this and why this and why this and why this and why this. Stop asking those questions because they're not going to serve you. They're going to destroy you. Okay? They're going to destroy you. What I am sharing here to this morning here on this beautiful morning in New York City is that you have the power to change it. We understand that the past is there. The past is important. But the great thing about the past is gone. It's done. It's over. And you either, you either choose to move forward or you choose to stay exactly where you are. It's only two choices when you're dealing about painful moments. You know, so many of you want to be entrepreneurs and <clears throat> it's not because you're not skilled. It's not because you're not smart or you're too old or too young. You just allow your situation, your current situation to bleed over into your new situation. How many of you want a new situation? And, I, and I'm talking about in every area of your life. You just want a new situation, new money. New people, new feelings, new emotions, 
new business, new wife, new husband, new girl, new, right? We, we want this, but more importantly, what we truly want, we want new emotions. It's not like we want a new business or new people in our life or uh, a new car and a new this and a new that. What we want is new emotions. See, we believe by having these experiences called a business or a significant other or a great body or a new car or a new this and new that, we feel if we get those things, we will have the emotions that we want. Uh-oh. Does that make sense? We just want new emotions. Those emotions are happiness, bliss, peace. That's what we want, right? Comment below if I'm correct. Right? We want to be able to wake up and feel grateful, feel excited, feel enthusiastic, feel that when we start to muse over our life, you know, life is working out pretty well. I want you to always remember this before I let you go here. It's important. An unhappy life. People that have an unhappy life, all that means is life is not happening the way that they think it should happen. Think about it for a second. Whenever anyone is unhappy, life on how they picture Life in their mind is not happening the way that they picture it in the brain. Make sense? But I want you to understand is that you have control of that picture that's in the mind. Now you can wake up for no reason to be grateful and say, you know what? Today, the business is going to work out perfectly. Everything's going to work out fine. Everything's going to work out to my favor. You can just say that. You can wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to attract the lover or the wife or the man of my dreams. You know, I know a lot of women on here want to be married. I know a lot of women on here want a man. I get it. You can wake up this morning and say, you know, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to create the best body of my life or my dreams. I'm going to spend the next year and I'm going to work out and I'm going to give myself the gift of really refining my body. Why? Because, you know, when you look good, you feel good. When you look well, you feel well, it makes you want to be positive. When you look at yourself in the mirror, when you see that you're working on your body, which is your temple, it just makes you feel good. And how you feel good will start to bleed over in every area of your life. Does that make sense? Hello? Can I get an amen, please? That's the beginning of creation. You no longer have to use the past to create your future. It's like driving in a car. Like if I'm driving one of my cars and I put the car in drive and I'm driving forward. But what if I look back and I'm driving 80 miles per hour and I begin to look back because I want to make sure nothing's behind me. I'm looking back just to make sure that nothing behind me is chasing me or anything behind me is trying to catch up to me. Well, if I'm going 80 miles per hour, if I'm looking behind myself, I'm going to have an accident. I'm going to wreck. Why? Because I'm too busy thinking about the pain of the past. I'm too busy thinking about, I don't want this to happen again. I don't want to lose money again. I don't want to get hurt again. So we're looking behind ourselves. That's what you do. So we all do, unfortunately. I don't want this to happen again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That looked familiar. Well I, well, I don't know. What I want you to understand, even though it sounds logical to look behind you, the, all that, all that, the only thing that's important is what's in front of you. But I say that's hard for people to understand when they're purposely putting themselves in the state of pain and hurt and depression and stress and anxiety. You know, you're putting yourself deep into the hurt. And all you have to do is just stop and turn your head around and look towards your future and begin to create what you want. Well, what do you want? Okay, we get, I know what you don't want. 
But what do you want? You know, many people that suffer in life, they just don't know what they want. They just know what they're familiar with. They're familiar with pro the problems. They're familiar with crying themselves to sleep. They're familiar with depression, drinking alcohol, smoking, vaping, doing drugs, trying to pacify and put band-aids on their pain. So many of you are hurting internally. What I want you to understand is you can stop. And you can begin right now. Like this week can be a life-changing week for you. Do you not understand that change doesn't need to happen in a year? It doesn't need to happen in a month. Change can happen in a moment. How? By deciding. Just say, you know, I'm no longer going to think about the fucked up pains of my past. I'm no longer going to berate myself and talk about myself and blame myself for everything that I've done. I'm not going to continue to think about my mistakes. Okay, I fucked up. So what? Move on. What's next? Why? Because what's next all is what matters. That's all that matters is what next. But if you don't know what, if you don't know what's next, you will unconsciously go back to the past. Well, I said I've done that. I can't believe I did this. Why did I do this? Does that make sense? Comment below. You're getting value. If you're getting value here tonight or this morning, right? Let go of the past. Comment below again. Just let go of the past. I must. I want you to say it with me. I must let go of my past. But say this with me. I will let go of my past. No, say this with me. I have let the past go right now. Okay. I've let the past go right now. Comment those words below. And I want you to notice how you feel. You say, you know what? I'm no longer going to stress myself out for no reason. I'm no longer going to be overwhelmed. I'm no longer going to feel all this anxiety, all this frustration, this suffering. Like, I don't have to do this. I can choose gratitude. I can choose love. I can choose success and positivity. I can choose to think about people that I care about. I can choose to think about the situations I want to experience in my life. I can begin to create my life for me and my family by using my thoughts and putting those thoughts in the universe and allowing those thoughts to attract the things that I want. It's no longer I want to be happy. I am happy. Comment below. I am happy. Stop saying I want to be happy. I hear people all the time. Oh, I just want to be happy. For what? Be happy now. I am happy. Do it. Say it right now. Say it before I slap you. I am happy. How difficult is that? <laughs> Some of you have been saying for years, oh, you know, I want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Just say I am happy. Say it. I am happy. How hard was that, big head? I'm happy. Okay, great. Why are you happy? Shit, I'm living. Got a family. Got children. Got people that love me. I'm making money. I live in America. I got a place to stay. Got a car. Got a brain. I can use it. I can think. Got a dream. I can work towards it every day. That's why you're happy. You got mentors online like myself that utilize his time to share his stories and philosophies with you. I am happy. Stop saying I want to be successful. I am successful. I want things to work out. Things are working out. I tell this young lady all the time, you know, because, you know, she's always kind of stressed out about life and I get it. And I say, hey, listen, everything's going to work out. Say it. Say everything will work out. Everything is working out in your favor. Just say it. Continue to say it. You have to understand something. Everything that takes place in your life is based upon your beliefs. Your beliefs are what create your life. If you begin to say this week is going to be an amazing week. Why? I'm going to make a ton of money. I'm going to get closer with the person that I love. I'm going to get closer with my children. I'm going to build a magical life for my family. Does that make sense? Okay. 
I love it. Hey, guys, I love you so much. And I appreciate you. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this morning's Sunday Millionaire Midnight Rant. I'm sorry, Sunday Mindset Message here. Remember, remember this. Everything in life happens for a reason. You know, it's a reason why you're here with me. It's a reason why you're listening to my voice. <laughs> Nothing in life just happens by chance. It's always a reason. And what I want you to understand at any moment, especially the people that are waiting for a breakthrough in their life, especially financially, that a breakthrough can happen in moments, in minutes. It can happen when you get off this message, off this rant here. It can happen when I end the podcast. You can have a breakthrough right there in your bed. You can cry yourself. But after you finish crying, you begin to create. Some of you, when you get off this rant, you can just get up and say, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to start the business. I'm going to tell that person that's in my life that I love that I'm sorry. I'm going to tell that person in my life that I love, I love you, and I care about you. You can tell that, you can tell your parents, say, you know, I forgive you for everything that you've done. It's okay. I still love you. I care about you so much. Thank you for doing the best. You can take all the pains, the things that you've been thinking about, the things that you blame people for. You can say, you know what? I no longer blame you anymore. It's okay. I hate what you did, but I love you. See what I did there? I hate the behavior. It hurt. But I love you. See, that's a healing process that happens for the individual. You. Okay? So I love all of you folks. Thank you for sharing this out. Thank you for liking the video as well. Much love. This is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. And let's go.